Oh, hello. Just reading from my most recent novel, uh, Like So Many Pearls Before Swine. It's uh, a love story, or rather a collection of love stories. Um, various couples um, with a similar thread that goes through. Uh, I really like it, and I think you will too. Um, I'll read a little bit. Uh, this is from the first chapter, uh, Margot. Margot and I speed through the sun-drenched Alsace countryside, the rented sports car insistent that I drive with both hands. Margot, vibrant in the summer dress of pink coral, is tightly seat-belted. The only pain either of us feels is our impatience. Possibly it's the pain of my hangover. I'm a polite but very resolute wine drinker. It may also be our desire. We're nearing the end of a frustrating three-hour drive between hotels where, upon arrival in Equisheim, an hour of pleasure may await us. Strands of Margot's soft black hair, not held in place by the scarf on her head, fly out behind her. She turns to smile at me, overjoyed by the week away from papers and patients. The sun reflects off her large black sunglasses, so I cannot see her eyes, but I know they're smiling too. She turns back to her open window, drinking in the vineyards and the stork-filled rooftops, waving her hand gently against the wind as we pass the Equisheim exit. Oh, Margot turns to me, her red lips forming an O that exposes the tiny pearls of her teeth. I nod and slow down, pulling over to the side of the road, preparing to U-turn. Sorry, but you distracted me. I look over to her wink and turn my attention back to the mirrors, waiting for my chance to cross the road. I never said a word. You smiled. She reaches over and squeezes my hand with her soft, warm fingers and turns to look out the back window. I'm thirsty. Will we be there in time? Plenty of time, I lie. There's a bottle of water in the glove compartment. I nod. I'm parched as well. Each time you fall in love, the bruising, while invisible, thickens your skin. But I only ever lie to Margot about little things. I could never wantonly lie to her. Close your eyes and say her name, gently, Margot. Now try other variations, Margareta, Margaret, Malgosha. It's like invoking the name of a saint. So I lie about the peripherals without any pangs of conscience. The price of a jar of ginger marmalade, the price of a restaurant meal, or in this case, the starting time of a small French provincial wine festival. I'm sorry about your headache. You know you're not supposed to swallow the wine when you taste it. She laughs, squeezes my hand again, and removes her sunglasses. I can hold out if you want to drink the water. I shake my head. I'll be fine. This is the third time I've fallen in love with Margot, or possibly the fourth. Maybe I've always been in love with her, and each time is simply a new iteration, like a software update. I never said I was a romantic. I said I very often fell in love. This is available uh, on Amazon, Kindle, or my preferred uh, print version. Have a good day, and uh, I hope you enjoy the novel. Bye-bye.